guys, welcome back to our channel. Happy December 1st. We thought we'd celebrate by wearing... Mine says Chance the Gift Wrapper. I don't know if you can see the bottom, but yeah. And I'm just wearing my Christmas pajamas shirt. Um, that's the thought that counts. So we asked you guys to ask us questions not related to the next step because those videos are separate videos. Yeah, should we just get, yeah, into, let's it? get into it? Let's talk. There's some good ones. On. I previewed okay. some already. Do you like to cook? If so, what's your favorite thing to cook? Ooh, I really like to bake. I'm not much of a cook, but I like to bake. Oh, what I've really been into now is um these eggnog cookies. Oh, they're so which I might just have to make a YouTube video making them because they literally are the best cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I would like to cook more than bake. I love making oatmeal. I know that's not really things you cook, but um, I love of. to make a lot of salads, just like strawberry pecan salads, mm -hmm. garden salads, all that. Yeah. What style of dance do you like choreographing the most? Probably lyrical or contemporary. Yeah, I'd be the same. Yeah, we I'd choreograph like jazz, that. but that's always so hard for us for some reason. Why did you start this YouTube channel? To be honest, that's a good question. I don't know <laughs> Why I did actually... we start it? I think we're just like, oh, like we have maybe semi-interesting lives. Let's try to like yeah. film some of it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I oh no, know. I thought. She was definitely. I, I that wanted idea to make a YouTube channel. I just it. thought that it would be cool to have a sister YouTube channel. Yeah. That's kind of it. No, no oh, cool story there. This one's gonna get all weird. What's your favorite thing about each other? Hmm. What's your favorite thing about me? We are like, not the lovey dovey sister type, if you can't tell no, already. I'm like, do you ever get stuck in like a stare? And like you just like days out that I sort just of. for a second. Um, I think like maybe something I wish I had was your ability to just like relax mm -hmm. and like like I'm always like I need to yeah. do something and you're like no like we can yeah. chill. So I wish I had that quality. So I guess maybe that. You are very self motivated. Oh, and I'm not. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. That's nice. Okay. What are your hopes and dreams for 2021? Honestly, Ooh. this year has been kind of like a write off. Like, yeah. you're just saying, like, it's not really a year. Um, I think I really hope to like grow sweet and salty a lot mm -hmm. um, and be able to make it more of like a business rather than just like a little hobby thing we have. Yeah. yeah. And then just like, it's kind of hard because I feel like my years go by like September to September. Yeah, like, sure. that's like kind of my year. So, I think just kind of keep doing what I'm doing right now and just like um, improve at teaching and like become a better mm -hmm. teacher and all that. I yeah. would like to travel for teaching if I we know. can. Oh. I think that would be fun. That's definitely yeah. a dream. What celebrity would you like to meet at Starbucks for a cup of coffee? That's good. Uh, Margot oh, Robbie. Margot. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, I would like to go for coffee with Kevin Hart. Oh, I think that'd or, be interesting. Or Will Ferrell. Or like some Funny. sort of comedian would be pretty fun. What was that TV show Jerry Seinfeld did where he took Oh, comedians and in cars drinking coffee or whatever. I think That's Ellen would be so fun too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's just a lot. What has been your most embarrassing moment in dance? Picked my wedgie while I was still on stage. That was pretty embarrassing. I yeah. thought I was off stage. I was walking off stage and I picked my wedgie. I yeah. was I was going to say I don't have one, but I literally have we, one on video. You have we multiple on have, video. We're in these like foam and neck shooks, but it's like this massive costume. For the Olympics. For the Olympics. And I tripped over like a power cord and just fell flat on my face in front of a, like a lot of people. But because the neck shooks costumes, there was one that went across her whole arm. So you couldn't go like this. It was oh, just straight out. It was so the it's worst. Just, it, yeah, I couldn't catch myself. Yeah, it's pretty funny. And there's a video. We might insert it. We might not. If I can find it. Depending on if I'm okay with it. <laughs> Dylan is or is Dylan allergic to more things than Berkeley? No. No, she's allergic to everything I'm on the planet. I'm allergic to bee stings, wasp stings, penicillin. Cut grass, soy ish. Yeah, soy -ish. I, can't, I, can't, I can't eat soy. I'm not I haven't been to anything. actually tested for soy, but my mouth starts to swell and get itchy, so. Yeah, I'm not allergic to anything. Are you vegan or vegetarian? No. No. I don't think I could ever do that. No. What are your favorite clothing brands? That's kind of a fun one. I like Aritzia, mm -hmm. Lululemon, oh, yeah. Zara. What do I, what do I wear? H&M H &M is pretty good. You can get a lot of like on-trend things for cheap. I just ordered some stuff from White Fox. Yeah. If you could be a superhero, what would your superpower be? I think I'd like to teleport. Teleport, interesting. I think, like, Pretty I feel funny. like I'd want to be able to tell the future, but oh. like, then I might just be like, try to change the future. Then I don't know. 
Or I'd like to hear what people like say. I'll tell you. I don't think I would like it. I think I would. I think describe Canada in three words. That's not really a question. Um, but that's kind of a fun one. Rainy. Rainy. <laughs> um, adventurous. And I'm. This gonna be cheesy. I'm gonna say beautiful because we do yeah. have a lot of beautiful places in Canada. I like this question. What has helped you stay sane in the quarantine? Because we are on our second wave. We're in. I wouldn't call it lockdown, but like kind Basically. of. Basically. Um, honestly, been harder to stay sane the second time around here. Yes. Um, puzzles calm me down. I, and I, I also think like just recognizing some days you just need to take a day mm -hmm. and it's okay to watch Netflix. Tonight and then, we're going to watch a Christmas movie and bake these brownie cookie Oreo things. And then other days you just like smash it. You get a yeah. work on it and you feel productive. And then the next day it might just be in bed all day. Like it, it you'll go in waves. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Waves. <laughs> Second wave. Um, but just like, I always have like a to-do list of like yeah. things I could do. And then I, that doesn't mean I have to check it off. But like if I'm like, oh, I'm so bored, then I can go to my list and be like, oh, I can do that. Also, I think it helps to have like at least one thing to look forward to during the day. So like even yesterday, the only reason I left food, food, <laughs> the only reason I left my house was to go ship a package. But like that was what I looked forward to because mm -hmm. I got to leave the house mm -hmm. type thing. I think that helps as well. Let's get stuff to look forward to. If you could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? Um, lately, Texas. Because well, Spencer and I have been just like talking about Texas. Like Texas would be a cool place to live. Do you not think so? You don't seem like a Texas gal to me. I think it'd be cool to live in Texas. Oh, weird. I'd love to live in Greece. Yeah. So pretty. Like in Santorini, so pretty. Or maybe like... If so, because I really love living like close to Vancouver, so mm -hmm. like some something like Vancouver, like here's not the California, thing, but is I like traveling to foreign places, but I don't know if I'd like to live in a foreign that's place. Like, like I want to live somewhere semi familiar. That's like New York City. It's like great to visit for a couple of days, but I don't think I'd want to live there. Yeah, that's why I think I think Greece. I would want to go to Greece. I don't think I'd want to live there. Fair enough. I'd want to live also in like Newport. Newport Beach. Beach, that's a great one. I can yeah. I can stamp my name down for that. Okay, if you could learn any dance style that you don't already know, what would it be? Okay, well I've done a little bit of ballroom, but like salsa yeah. or tango or something like that. I also I learned, learn more of. I'd love to learn how to like break dance. Oh yeah. Like I can do acro tricks, but it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Does Dylan have a better car and is she a better driver than Berkeley? I'm definitely a better driver well, okay. than Berkeley. Here's the thing. Can I state my um, side here? The most outrageous, out of the blue things happen to me while I'm driving. No, she just doesn't pay attention. No, I've never gotten in a car accident, but I hit a car that was parked. But Dylan was in the car. It was pretty bad. But also a month ago, I hit a wooden pallet on the road. <laughs> And my car is getting fixed right now. But like, why was there a wooden pallet in the middle of the road? And I was paying attention to a different driver. And um, so yeah, just the outrageous things happened to me. But I do have a nicer car than Dylan. She's only one year newer, but it's like my car is like smaller and yes. just a bit more compact. So like if someone were to get in a car crash, I would lose against anyone yes. kind of thing. Okay. Whereas mine's a little nicer. I feel like you can answer this question better. What is your guys aesthetic? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Mine, I would say, is like... No, no, ours. Ours. What? Like, sweet and salty. Sweet and salties. I would say it's like fun and bright and colorful right now. Mm -hmm. Our aesthetic might be changing in the new year. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Just love it to be like fresh and vibrant. mature. Not mature, but like, um, sophis no, sophisticated. Um, um, I would say it's still vibrant. It's vibrant, yeah. Um, But it's more... Just think like sweet and salty. But 2.0. Yeah, 2.0. It's like, okay, we kind of grew up a bit, but not a lot. But it's still like, I think I'd say it's cool. And it's cohesive. It's okay. cool and cohesive. What is the best Christmas present you've ever gotten? Oh, that's a hard one. Actually, I know the best Christmas. There's two. I have two. What The year before we went to Thailand, Thailand was our Christmas present. That's but we all got Nintendo DSs oh my so that we could play them so on the 15-hour plane ride. And that was a great Christmas gift. The other one was our surprise trip to Hawaii. That was awesome. But also yeah. you got a really great gift one year. And I don't know if it's for your birthday or if it's for Christmas, but the Wii and that- Oh, that was for my birthday. Okay. Yeah. Then that doesn't count. But also this is 
kind of small but i got a leather jacket last year and mm. i was so amped because it's something that like you can wear with everything and they're pretty expensive like real leather so mm -hmm. i was pretty stoked to get that favorite food combination like i guess like a weird combination maybe oh like like yeah. like food duo i don't know if this is weird but everyone thinks i'm weird for eating it is crepes with sweet and condensed milk <laughs> so gross like it doesn't so go good. i think it's so good it oh it doesn't go that's my favorite food i mean this isn't a weird food combination but apples and peanut butter like you just can't go wrong what about the thing we're making tonight is that a sure you put cookie dough cookie dough on the bottom then you put an oreo, oreo. and then you cover it all in brownie oh, mix and bake it it's so good it's literally the best thing ever so good what's your guys's plan after covid this is such a hard question because like when it's, is it gonna it's end? so hard to predict when is covid gonna end who knows yeah. i think my plan my tentative plan would be to maybe fly to toronto to see all alex? my friends yeah. see alex set up some workshops to teach other mm -hmm. places um would definitely like to travel more yeah go for the same this is funny why do you call your mom and dad by their names oh well it kind of started because now my mom's gonna get mad at me for saying this. She doesn't respond. She doesn't respond to mom. Like, because, like, she's she, not she, deaf. It, it's called selective tuning. She is, yeah, selective hearing. And so we would say like, mom, mom, mom. And, and then I would just like, say Pam. Pam. And, and then she, she would respond. So then I kind of just started saying Pam. And then like, my dad, we've always just called him other names. Like, he's Jason, J. J Slice, Slice. Um, Jason Derulo. Melania um, calls him um, Mr. Plum. Mr. Plum, yeah. Uh, what else? We, he has an, so he has a shirt with all his nicknames on it. Yeah, we just never have called him yeah. dad for the past few years. Really, he just has really cool nicknames. Okay, this keeps coming up a lot. Um, do you guys have boyfriends and what are their names? I do have a boyfriend. We have been dating for two and a half years, and his name is Spencer. I also have a boyfriend. His name is Logan. We've been dating for three years. Hi. <laughs> I did and see another one. Was like, um, how did you meet your boyfriends? Mine's not that like interesting. Basically, my friend was in a Christmas show and she invited her friends from school and I was a dance friend. And then we decided to just go bowling after. Her. And then from there, it was like, oh, we started talking. And then I basically said, I don't want a relationship. I'm flying off to Toronto. I got, I'm away for months. So I was like, it's not happening. And then it happened. I'm gonna give you the Coles Notes version of mine because it spanned over a year. But basically while I was filming in Toronto, my mom met Spencer, who's actually like a really good family friend's nephew. And she told me I had to date him. And I was like, no, I'm not listening to your mom. And then Christmas Eve service at church, he happened to be sitting two seats behind me, um, but then he moved away. So then six months later when he came back, a hockey coach who actually was his hockey coach and my brother's hockey coach called him and basically told me he had to take me on a date. And so he took me on a date the next day and that's it. Nice. Okay, a lot of food questions. What are your favorite types of food? Like Indian, Thai, Mexican? I don't discriminate against food, really. I love all types of food. My favorite is probably Italian. Italian is great. I love Indian food, though, as well. And Vietnamese. And this, yeah. and this. Uh, and love Mexican food. Love Mexican so food. So sad we're not going. We usually go to Bucerias for mm -hmm. um, Christmas. Yeah. I know that's a first world problem. Totally. So we're having um, a Mexican Christmas here. We're having a Mexican Christmas, yeah. I think so. I think maybe. maybe. TBD. Uh, do you find it hard to be a Christian? Yes and no. Like I feel like where we live, we're very privileged in the mm -hmm. fact that it isn't hard for us like to be a it's Christian. It's definitely accepted. Yeah. You um, don't get necessarily made fun of for, for it. it. Yeah. But I would say like the daily journey of being a Christian can be hard. Totally. Yeah. Well, and like sometimes we get into situations where it's like, oh, like yeah. you think that and you think that, and it's just like, yeah. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, but that takes mm. time to become secure. Yeah. In. Some like at first yeah. we would just be like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Like not talk like, about it. Yeah. 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 So, but so yes and no. And yes then no. let's last question. Do you guys ever argue about what to do for videos or anything like that? Not usually. Like we're, we, we usually won't... like kind of write down a big list. Yeah. And then we'll be like, oh, let's film this one this week. Um, mm. and then we plan out our video. Lately, we've been planning out our videos very well. I think it's more so we argue over the fact when we can't think of ideas for videos. Yeah, we're like, what do we do? Or like, yeah. sometimes like filming it, we get into disagreeing about a time to film yeah. this today and all that. So, but overall, like it's pretty, pretty fun to do this. So it's become like, part of like to... our weeks. Like yeah. we always usually set aside a day for like filming and stuff. It's never too last minute. And now since we're like 
we're trying to bank videos because like yeah. we're trying to release two a week especially november december because those mm -hmm. are like such fun months yeah. that we're like more on top of our planning yeah. and like what to do and christmas just gives us like a whole bunch of ideas to do. yeah like the options are endless yeah we have so many ideas wow though we definitely answered some new questions i mm. always think like what more do they want to know yeah. about us <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video yeah, make and sure you like subscribe comment turn on our post notifications oh, you know yeah. the drill oh and we also want to thank you guys for hitting 15,000 15, which is like insane. you guys we started this and we're like hmm, maybe two people will find this interesting <laughs> no but yeah. yeah like we're super um appreciative appre appreciative 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 <laughs> of your support and your continued support um so yeah. thanks again and on to 20,000 yeah maybe we should do a giveaway yeah, Ooh. so yes to 20,000. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye.